Hello everyone. On this very day, exceeding to consider the topic over the types of Android applications. Let's raise a question here, how many types of Android applications are in existence? By considering it, there are three types. 1. Web apps. 2. Hybrid apps. 3. Native apps. Let's ensure it in a detailed way. Coming to the very basic type of it. 1. Web apps. Another name for this web app is a mobile website. These are built by using HTML, JavaScript, CSS. These web apps will run inside a browser. As we are familiar, browsers are like Safari, Chrome etc. Advantages of this web app are, it is easy to build by using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. And it is easy to maintain and, it is cheaper than native and hybrid apps, it uses web technology, and Python language as well. Coming to the disadvantages are, it will run only in a browser and it is much slower than native apps. It is less interactive. It cannot interact with device utilities. 2. Hybrid apps. It is a combination of native and web apps. And this uses HTML and CSS and JavaScript. And this will run inside a container or a web view. Advantages of these hybrid apps are, it is easy to build HTML, CSS, JavaScript. It is much cheaper than a native app. And it is a single application for all platforms. This hybrid app doesn't need a separate browser. It is faster to develop than native apps. Next, disadvantages of the hybrid apps are, it is slower than native apps. It is more expensive than web apps. And is also less interactive than native apps. 3. Native apps. These native apps can be downloaded by using from the mobile app store or play store. And these are built for only a specific platform. For example, if it is iOS, it will only work for iOS. If it is for Windows, it will work only for the Windows. Coming to the advantages of native apps are, it is very fast. It is built to run only on specific platforms. It is distributed in an app store that can be used efficiently. Coming to disadvantages, it only works for specific purposes. So, it is only a single platform. It also uses many hard languages like CSS, Java. These only work for Android. Among these three native apps, web apps and hybrid apps. The hybrid apps only work effectively, as it has more advantages and fewer disadvantages, which works in Android very quickly. And coming to some Android tools, Android tools are used to develop the Android application. There are 1. Android Studio. It is an official integrated development environment for all Android applications. 2. Android Debug Bridge. To use ADB with your Android device, you must enable a feature called USB Debugging. 3. AVD Manager, an Android virtual device. AVD, is a configuration that defines the characteristics of an Android phone, tablet, Wear OS, Android TV, or automotive OS device that you want to simulate in the Android emulator. 4. Eclipse, this is officially preferred by IDE for all application development. 5. Gradle, Android Studio uses Gradle, an advanced build toolkit to automate and manage the build process while allowing you to define flexible custom build configurations. Each build configuration can define its own set of code and resources while reusing the parts common to all versions of your app. 6. Rad Studio. By using this Rad Studio we can easily recompile. 7. Source Tree. The Android Source Tree is located in a Git repository hosted by Google. The Git repository includes metadata for the Android source, including changes to the source and when the changes were made. Well, that's the end of today's topic. Along with the video explanations, we offer notes, mind maps, infographs and more to all the subjects from your syllabus, and also career guidance programs from current working IT professionals, and many more to our supporters. To join our supporters community, use the subscription link given below. For more topics from your syllabus, please visit our website given in the description. If you like the explanation, Press the like button and rate us from 1 to 5 in the comments section below. For getting updates on any video we posted, please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon. We will be back with another concept soon.